How about... No! Holtzman! Holtzman, Holtzman. One of the, I'd say, more developed characters in Need for Speed. I think, I mean, of this this game, Payback. Of, of all Need for Speeds, that's downright line. That ain't the truth. Now, this guy is hiding up away somewhere. I know he's in this hyperspace loop. He's up a jump somewhere. That's all I've been told. He must be here somewhere. Oh, he's up there. Okay, how do we get up there? I actually don't know how we get up there. This is good. It's actually challenging me. I, mean, <laughs> I genuinely don't know how to get up there. I imagine maybe it's something to do with the big jump. No. That's not going to get me anywhere, is it? Oh, it is. <laughs> I, don't, I was just supposed to say that little jump there, but I took the main event. See, that's how you do it. You do it with more than what you need. Look at that. It's a big truck. I want to see how this does against the police. Is it actually the struggle? Is there any idea of, of big, strengthy, muscly truck vehicles on this game? I don't know. Let's find out. Bit of a skid. What spec is this? I'm guessing it's off-road. Oh, hello. Are you a big one? For some reason, they can still bash me around, so no. It's a big one with a little of an inside. It's, it's, a, it's a liar. Yeah, it definitely feels like an off-road vehicle. The handles like poo. The off-road vehicles just—they they handle really strangely. Uh, through the career of the game, off-roading was probably my least favorite thing to do because it just felt weird. Like it didn't feel right ever. The car—the cars seemed to like snap and go all over the place. But hey, we got a little bit of a slow car this time, so maybe the police will actually try and keep up this time. Boom! Get out of my way, piggy boy. I don't think I fully upgraded one of these. If I did, I didn't use this this super build. I think this is a super build, right? That's surely what it is. If you look at the big cage in the back, it looks pretty super buildy to me, but it feels slow. So maybe it isn't a super build. Because it has to be level 300 to be a super build. Everybody's on my butt. Oh, you're a brave one. What was that? Did you even try? So last week, I said, do you guys want to see me do all of them? That is right. This is, I think, the final one of the Street League boss car. Oh, ho, ho. this is the final one of the Street League boss cars, which should mean the next ones should be all the exciting ones. The M3 GTR. That better be next. I think, I don't know if we have any more to go through. I've not actually been properly taken out by one of these. Oh, God, that's a rhino. Where is he? I saw him. I'm too busy taking out your brothers. Oh my, he actually went in for a little nudge there. And the rhino got pushed out of the way. Rhino, you ain't no rhino. We've been playing most 105. You mind? We've been playing most 105 and you know that's a proper rhino. Those are proper rhino. Duo rhinos. There's another rhino incoming. Came out of nowhere. What are you doing? Okay, I'll take it back. He's good. Sorry. They mean to offend you. Imagine two of those boys coming at you. Like, and they, also, they, just, they just spawn in. I, re I remember on the original PS4, when I played this on standard PS4, they just popped in out of nowhere. <laughs> but on this Pro, you know, they, they, they don't pop in so much. I mean, they do, but a bit more of a distance. Pop in like normal traffic in this game, you know. Oh! Two brave boys, huh? Trying to take out Holtzman. My question is, why are, they, why are they, these cars just left around the map? I can't... The other abandoned cars, all right, fair enough. They were kind of random, the RX-7, that kind of thing. It was a kind of cool idea, but why has why this man abandoned his car running perfectly, may I add? I don't understand, to be, to be totally honest with you. I feel kind of bad for Holtzman. They're already giving up. Can I spin around and, like, hit them head on? Are they going to do anything to me if I hit them? Yeet, yeet! I'm going away. This is how fast it goes in reverse, 25 miles an hour. If I, like, creep, will they follow me right towards the end? I've never tried this before. <laughs> Come on, buddies! <laughs> I think they actually might follow me to the end, because normally if you get away from them, they disappear. But if I, like, if I sheep, if I herded them away from, past this and away, will they start following me full speed again? Come with me! My friends, we are about to go inside like you're not gonna do anything about the fact 
that I am about to go inside this building and you know exactly where I'm going. You know, I want to test out. Can we drive these boys away and get them to properly come after us again? They're limiting themselves to 30 miles an hour. They're obeying the UK speed limit, but they ain't UK cops. I don't think anywhere in the US has 30 speed limit. It has a 35. Maybe you should have paid attention to the... Whoa, they sped up and they let's slow down again. You're going to make your mind up, fellas. I've left the airport, the airfield. Did they know that there's actually street names? I don't even know. Are you not going to, like, try and stop me, Mr. Man, with your electro-shocky thing, your EMP, basically? You could, you could just change this whole pursuit. Please now tell me, once I get away from this area, they're going to speed up again. It's like those police pursuits you see on US TV, US news. Like, they're just driving, cruising along the, the roads because they're trying to keep their fuel going. They know the police won't stop them with roadblocks and stuff. You, you guys have guns and stuff. As soon as that guy gets out of the car, you're probably going to gun him down. Why are you not running up to his car or roadblocking his car? It doesn't make sense to me. Oh! Oh! He just rammed me up my bum! That, that was surely an aggressive strike on the fact that I am now away from it. No, he's still... <laughs> he's still over there. Okay, I don't think getting away makes them work again. I think once they've been triggered, that's basically the end for them. It's going to slip on through. Look at that. Absolute mayhem. I'm now going to run away. Say, why, why... It would make sense to me for them to carry on. But I guess in programming, why does it make sense that they've now been turned off? They're not going to come back again. They've all disappeared. I could now drive a million miles away. And they still wouldn't bother trying to catch me again. I could drive around the whole map and they still wouldn't know where I am. See, your police is flawed. You need to get them fixed for the next game. Back at the airport. Surely they'd know by now, by the fact I've been stockpiling these cars here, that this is where I've been putting them. I've escaped. Nine minutes. <laughs> And then that's probably the longest getaway ever, with the longest police chase in this game as well. I, see you found one of those abandoned cars. I sure did. Is that what you're going to say again? Yep, I remember. Your, your, your words are getting less and less, Rav, Ravster. It's level 200. Why would you... This is useless. What kind of level... I swear he was one of the final ones as well. Why is this level 200? It's level 200 off-road. It, to me, looks like some kind of super build as well, but I guess not. Maybe this vehicle is just really customizable. But as said, Holtzman is one of the characters that I remember <laughs> because he was quite aggressive. And I don't know, he kind of played a little trick on us in the story. If you haven't played it, I mean, if you should have played it by now, like, Jesus. But he played a little trick on us, and that's why I remember him. But other than that, I, I, that's it. <laughs> There's not much I want to do to this car. I definitely don't want to waste money on the upgrades on this car because it's just like, it's, it's, it's not very good. There's not much I can do to it. I'm more excited for the fact that the next car should be a bajillion times better. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please, my friends, be sure to smash like. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you next week for the next abandoned car. Till next time. Thank <laughs> you.